Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I use to run my vending machine business. For example, what dolly do I use or exactly where do I keep all of my vending machine money collections. But yeah, for everyone that wants to start a vending business or uh, for everyone out there that just likes to see vending machine videos, then this way you guys can see exactly what I use. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the video. And also, by the way, today we do have a second camera over there. So hopefully, move it around so they can see. Yeah, so hopefully that looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just testing it out to see if it looks good with a second camera. So I don't know. Let's see. And also, if you guys want to buy or check out anything from the list, uh, I will leave everything linked down below in the description so you guys can go check it out. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so starting off with the first item, it is going to be a money box. Now this is very important, like very, very important. Just because for everyone that has been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know I have thrown away money a lot of times. Like how many times? Two times, right? Like three the times. The first time it was you though. <laughs> the reason for that is because every single time I go and restock my vending machines, I collect the money and I put that money into an empty box instead of something like this. And the next thing you know, I throw away the box full of money because I think it's trash and boom, poof, disappeared, gone forever. And it's kind of broken already. It doesn't close all the way, but it still gets the job done. And also it does come with a combination lock, so nobody will get into this, like literally nobody, unless they just pick it up and take it with them. <laughs> uh, okay, so item number two, I don't know why I didn't empty it out <laughs> instead of carrying this heavy crate. Now crates are very, very important in a vending machine business just because it makes it really easy to carry all your drinks, all your snacks, or uh, pretty much anything that you want to carry instead of keeping them in the box where they can just fall and pop and spill and stuff. So it does make it a lot easier to just have a crate. I know a lot of people do use those big, like giant heavy duty crates, uh, but these, they're pretty small, they're cheap. I think these are like $3 each. You guys see that? So it starts off like this. I feel like it's just because the drinks are, are too heavy. All right, so next on the list is gonna be a lunchbox. Uh, not really a lunchbox, but a small cooler, or a, I mean, you can get a lunchbox also. All right, so next up on the list is gonna be a lunchbox or a cooler, whatever you wanna call it. Now this is also very, very important to have in a vending machine business, uh, cause especially if you live in like Texas, Arizona, or anywhere that's hot, you don't have to buy an expensive one. I got this from Sam's uh, for about $35. It came with two, so it was a pack of two. This one is made by Igloo. Is that how you say it? Igloo. <laughs> the best part about this one is that it did come with a free uh, freeze pack, ice pack. What do you call these things? Ice pack. Ice pack, whatever. The reason why I bought this is because before I went to a location, I opened up the box of chocolates, and it was like, with something that looks like melted brown chocolates. I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, but you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, but again, having a cooler is very important and it's pretty cheap. You know, you have to have one. Testing, 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 testing. Maybe you're going to want to come see this. I put pants on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so look, I'm editing the video, right? So look, just watch the door in the background whenever I sit down, okay? Okay. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, I see that. That's scary. The door literally just opened on its own as I was recording. I know some of you guys might be thinking, oh, Jaime, that was just your girlfriend behind the door. Guys, she was actually not in the apartment whenever I filmed this, uh, just because this whole video was filmed, like, throughout the whole day. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird. And you're alone? Yeah, it's whenever you left. Because normally, I close the door every single time I record in the living room, and it literally just opened on its own. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So next item on the list is gonna be a dolly, of course. Now this is very important. Like if you're gonna start a vending business, you have to have one. If you don't, if you don't buy one, then I feel bad for you because uh, it's gonna suck. You know, don't carry all the stuff. 
you gotta get yourself a dolly to put all the drinks, all the snacks and everything on it. This dolly right here is very, very special to me just because I've been having this thing ever since I started my vending machine business. Even though I've been having this thing forever, to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend it. Just because it is pretty small, you can't fit that many drinks, that many snacks. Sometimes I have to make two trips back to the car and get whatever I have left. Because again, it is pretty small, so I would put an extra $15 to get one of those dollies with four wheels. Where you can actually push the dolly instead of pulling it, because uh, with those you can fit a lot more stuff. But the best part about this dolly is that it is very, very portable. Like look at this, it's pretty small, you can put it into your car, into your trunk, and it fits anywhere. Like you can put this in your back pocket, basically. <laughs> I basically use my backpack for a lot of things. For example, I put my vending machine parts inside. I put the cleaning supplies. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. I have a portable charger for the cameras. I have a screwdriver and uh, this. What is this called? I have no idea. Wrench. Wrench, really? I think so. A lot of people are gonna hate me for not knowing what this is called. <laughs> but oh well, I know what this is called, a screwdriver. <laughs> and of course, the best part is that you can just put this on your bag and it makes it really easy you know if i need something i just take it off and it just makes it pretty simple to have on the back i mean it is a backpack <laughs> <laughs> so now for the last item on the list of course you guys need somewhere to put all the product in all the items for the vending machines a storage room a storage place or at least a closet like me so uh real quick it is pretty messy right now so i'm sorry uh but again you guys have seen this before I do have this shelf where I put all my drinks. I have that shelf up there where I keep a whole bunch of vending machine parts. Uh, for example, it's called a coin mechanism and that's where all the coins go. So whenever you put money into a vending machine, this is basically what gives you back your change. And I can see right there, that's where you put quarters, nickels, and dimes. Um, but yeah, I do have a whole bunch of extra parts. Chips, you know, pastries, cookies, candy. Uh, what else? I do have some credit card machines up here. I have this. Oh. Okay, it's pretty heavy. I can't pick it up. Uh, but of course, this is a five gallon bucket and hopefully one day we can fill it up and go switch it out. How much money do you think will be in here once we fill it up? Like more than a thousand, no? It has to be. Like I would say 2,000. Alright guys, look, so I know I'm making this video to show you guys what equipment I use to run my vending machine business, but since we're here at a location already, let's restock the machine, let's collect the money, and uh, hopefully we did pretty good today. Alright guys, so check this out. This time we do have one, two, three, four, five, five empty slots. Again, those two don't work, uh, so it's only five that we have empty. Some things didn't even sell. For example, the cinnamon roll, you know, it's still there. But still, five empty slots for about two weeks. I think that's still pretty good. Uh, so hopefully the bill acceptor is full and uh, we have some money in there. So let's see. All right, so there we go. We have the machine all the way filled up. This time we did put in some new things. Uh, for example, the oatmeal cream pies. Uh, we put in some paydays. So hopefully those two items do pretty good. But everything else is like trash. Like nothing really sells. And last time we came, they asked us if we can put some Mountain Dew. So this time we did bring some. Uh, we also added some Humix. So hopefully that does pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and open up the bill acceptor. And let's see. So there we go. It doesn't look too bad. Look at that. It might actually be really, really good. Look, there's one five, there's uh, another five. Let's see if there's another five in there. Come on, third time. Where's it at? Dang it. It was only two. <laughs> only two. Oh. All right, so we got the bills. Look at this one. It's like halfway ripped. I wonder how the machine took it. Uh, but yeah, we got the bills. Now let's take the quarters out. Okay. 
All right, but anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope everyone did enjoy. That's pretty much all that I use to run my vending machine business. I use a money counter, tools, backpack, dollies. If you guys want to see another video like this where I talk about what equipment I use for my YouTube channel, like what microphone I use, what camera, how I edit my videos, let me know down below. And also, before we end the video, everything I talked about in this video, the link will be down below so you guys can go check it out. But again, hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to eat a snack and enjoy life. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.